pots a number of years ago, and it was one of the first conifers we planted in the collection. Uh, number 829, Pinus Sembra. This one? I'm going to get there. Don't get ahead of him. Pinus what? Like Sembra. Uh, don't get ahead of him. Mm -hmm. Trust me. It's sorry. Yeah. Yes, yes. What number was it? Uh, it was uh, 829. Sorry. 827. Minus Aristata. Nice. Damn. Remember, remember this. It is. Uh, it's about 846. I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, got that date marked down. Um, Pinus Aristata. I always get those two backwards. Uh, if you go, sorry? Yeah. If you go to the website, um, no, if, not if you go to the website. I think if you go to online, there might be a picture of it featured in National Geographic that we scanned and put up illegally. But it's a great picture because you see this really contorted trunk. Uh, it's growing, in, I think it's growing in the, in the mountains in Nevada. And uh, these are some of the oldest pines on the planet, and particularly in that, that park. This thing is probably um, 25 years old. So it's very, very slow growing and it's not a dwarf conifer. This is the straight species. Plots. Easy identification characteristic, uh, resin spots. These can be easily confused with scale, which is uh, a prevalent pest problem on evergreen, broadleaf evergreens. And there's a problem on a lot of plants, but particularly on evergreens. And it shows up very similar to this. And I've seen people actually have one of these and bring a sample in and then concerned that it's a pest, and when I tell them it's not a pest, they say, well, I still don't like the plant, I want to get rid of it, and I'm like, I'll take it, because these are premium plants, they're very expensive, because they are very, very, very slow growing. <laughs> As they age, you'll see that they're relatively formless, here it's broadly pyramidal, very, very dense, very hardy, tough plant. Um, if you look at the fascicles again, You'll see that they've got a blue stripe on them. How many? It's not green. Five. 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 Two. No. Five. <laughs> Five. No. I can't find and, it myself. Well, here. because the resin will actually stick the, the uh, needles together. So, like, one. Yeah. Now, the, 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 the trick when checking the uh, number of needles on a pine is to do an overall check. Don't just grab one fascicle and count, because but some kind of had six. taken that needle. Or seven, actually. right? So they can they can be really quite variable. Again, this is an accent or specimen plant, and all of the pines, uh, without exception, are full shade, well drained soils, uh, all very very similar conditions. The only big concern with them is hardiness issues. Like which ones are going to be hardy. Like Densifor is at the limits here. Um, this one is a little 